I think since you might already have a product or any of you might already have a product, we don't even have to go over that. So knowing your product is going to be the first thing, then you want to set up your Facebook page. So post on it, post stuff that is going to be engaging. So post your product, but make sure the pictures look good. They're very high quality. Post high quality pictures. You guys, this is so important. The number one way you can see if the website looks like a scam or not is based on the quality of the posts. How many times have you seen a product posted in an ad and you can tell it's a scam because the picture looks like it was screenshotted 500 times. I know I've seen some stuff like that before and yeah, so you want to make sure you get good quality photos. Um, you can do videos, obviously. I would have maybe like five plus posts and like with pictures and stuff. And then if you want to, you can do some where it's just like you're talking, like make a post talking about the product or if you're able to find someone um, to use the product and then have them take pictures with it and then post those, um, post that so you know it just looks like more legit. So once you do that, do you have to set up a Facebook pixel? So I don't know um, exactly. I know you can do it through the ads manager. You'll be able to see, we'll get to that in a little bit and I'll like show you guys where you can enable it. Uh, but you have to have this linked up to your Shopify store and what this is going to do is collect all of the data from your clientele basically when people when traffic goes from your Facebook page to your Shopify it's going to track um it's going to track everything that your audience likes and what they do um who their family and friends are um, it's going to track their location, how long it's literally going to do everything. You guys, how it's going to look at how long they looked at your ad. It's going to track where they clicked, how many, how many seconds it takes them to click. Um, it's like literally so scary accurate and all this information is really, really important for getting lookalike audiences, um, which I'll get into at a later date. Lookalike audiences are like the most important part in drop shipping in, for the ads, in my opinion. Um, if you're not able to create lookalike audiences, your store will not be very successful with engagement and stuff like that. Like there's a cap to where you can get if you do not use look like audiences. Like you can get millions of views on your ads without them, but the look like audiences is just so much it's a different type of audience. It's very narrowed down and it's very accurate. So that's what you're gonna want. All important to get look alike audiences. And so what the Facebook pixel does, like I said, it tracks everything. So if you, you have to have, make sure it's linked up to your ad account and ad account from Facebook to Shopify. All right. Is everything making sense so far, family? I'm moving kind of quickly here. Yeah. Very cool. So you want to link up your Facebook pixel from Facebook to your Shopify. If you don't know how to do it, guys, YouTube, all this stuff. I learned how to do all of this through looking it up on YouTube. Um, filter the videos. So search and then filter videos by posted within the last month, um, last 30 days. Or if you can't find what you're looking for, then do it by the last year. But the reason why that that is so important is you're going to get the most accurate information with this. If you're doing searches and you're just doing a very general search and press search, what's going to come up is a video with the most views and the most engagement or video that somebody is, has ads on. So it's going to be at the top, not because the content is the best, but because they're paying for it to be at the top. Or it's just because every a lot of people have watched it and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the most accurate information. 
sometimes the newer stuff is better. You know, they do updates on the website, they change things around. Um, and as far as stuff like this goes, and I would even say for Forex and all that, you really wanna be looking at stuff that's posted recently. That's never failed me ever. So um, the Facebook pixel, just please don't forget that part. If you, if you run your ads and you don't have the pixel set up, there's no point in running ads that you did. You just wasted money. So I'm just have to stress that it's so important. Okay. Now we'll actually get into the Facebook ads. You guys, that's the easy part. I mean, it's all easy, but this, this is like the extra stuff. So now we're gonna just, I literally go like this to get to it. Um, just type in Facebook ads manager. Oops go here all right go to ads manager okay and these are your ad accounts so i only have one ad account right now i deleted my other ones like i had a facebook page that i didn't use but you guys facebook is weird like facebook has a lot of restrictions and a lot of security so like for as far as that goes, if you don't already have a Facebook account, you need to use your real name. Um, if you don't use your real name, one, it won't even let you make an account. It like knows, I don't even know, scary stuff. Um, but two, it won't let you run ads because the name on your ID must match the name on your account. Um, you're gonna have to send in a picture of your ID in order for your ad account to get verified. If it's not already, um, it might ask you to do some extra security that's gonna be like sending you a code in the mail. Um, and this is just for security purposes. So in order to act like activate your ad account, you might have to go through these processes it's okay it takes time but it's worth it um it was kind of annoying for me because i had like set up my ads and everything and then i wasn't able to run them because they had to send me a code in the mail like on a piece of paper i had to type it in so make sure you guys do that stuff so you can get verified and um facebook security to verify ad accounts oops then at the end of this, guys, I'll scroll back through this and you can take a screenshot or whatever. Um, so yeah, once you get into the campaign thing, um, it's gonna look like this. So if you have your pixel set up, there will be something on here that says your pixel ID with the pixel ID number. You wanna make sure you see that. Um, I don't have a pixel set up on here. I'm, I don't have a store running or anything. I'm just showing you guys how to do this. So when you create, you're gonna go to this button right here that's gonna say create campaign. And what you wanna do is make sure you guys are on this big screen, like this whole thing. Don't do the ads where it's just like a little pop-up window on Facebook. It, this is a whole extra page. This is a whole, this is the ads manager thing. So make sure the screen looks like this before you guys start. So I, I clicked create and the left, that green button. I'm gonna go to conversions here and I'm gonna go continue. Okay, so we're gonna name the campaign. Okay, before we do this, let's think of just a fake product that I can advertise. So somebody throw out anything. Let's what's a product that comes to mind? What's something that you're using right now? AirPods. So our product is gonna be AirPods. So campaign name, we're just gonna AirPods has one. This is for this campaign. I don't know, you can just do it as AirPods. Um, for the campaign, this, okay, so this is where we at right now. Right now we're in this section. That's like this folder, this is the campaign. Beneath this, this is a new section, which is an ad set. 
and then within the ad set there's the ad so the whole thing in itself is a campaign and then you have okay. ad sets and the ads inside of the campaign so i named it and now we're just going to go through this stuff very simple i'm going to skip over some things that i don't use but you a slash b testing um this is for like split testing where you test like one ad and it gets like divided and then it picks the best one i haven't used these before um i, I know about them a little bit but i don't have much experience with it so i can't tell you if they're any good or not i'm sure it's great it's just the way you set it up so i'm going to be using campaign budget optimization now you have to be using money when you do this if you're using campaign budget optimization you must be putting in over fifty dollars a day maybe not on your first day maybe you could do like twenty dollars a day but at least fifty dollars a day if you're doing campaign budget optimization the more money you put into the ads the better they optimize the more i'm going to type this out because this just needs hold on the more money you put into the ads the better they will optimize and perform this is literally so important you guys you cannot be sitting there putting five dollars in your ad expecting you to get sales you can't sit there putting ten dollars in the ad expecting to get sales trust me trust me trust me if you put fifty dollars in the ad you're gonna get sales <laughs> maybe not on your first day but probably like trust me trust me so like when i was really doing this and i was like working up to it towards the end of the month i was putting 500 dollars into each campaign so it, it, the 50 dollars a day is where i would start um the way a lot of people go wrong with this type of stuff is they really just don't be putting a lot of money into it and you won't get you just it's really hard to get results without a lot of money in this guys so fifty dollars is not a lot you might lose the 50 the first day and then the second day you make it back whatever so just keep that in mind so campaign budget optimization on i'm just gonna put this at 50 right now um and then we can move on to the ad set so this is gonna be interest number one and what interest is is something that is going to be correlated with the product that you're selling what are your customers going to be interested in what type of things you want keywords like put on your ads and stuff that is going to pop up for people who are interested in what you are selling um so this is what i'm talking about with bought the pixel so this is where you're gonna like connect it i guess like i could create a pixel right here but there's a way to create the pixel before you actually like start doing the ad um like i said i would just youtube that and make sure you set it up correctly uh and then yeah so scroll down here i don't dynamic creative i don't do that offer i also don't do that budget scheduling i would just schedule it whatever day you're doing it the next day so i would do it tomorrow at i'll just say 12 p.m whatever you want to do um i don't set an end date if i want to stop running the campaign i'll just stop putting money into it instead of if you set an end date i think it might delete the campaign after it's over um okay cool and this is the important part guys so you haven't been paying attention much make sure you do it right now um, create a new audience you're gonna have some options here use the save audience create a new one we're gonna create a new audience search existing audiences I don't have any so that doesn't matter um, Oops. okay what we want to do is go locations edit this now if you are drop shipping a product I already went over what e-packet countries are, but that's what you're gonna do. E-packet country list 2020. What e-packet country list is, is e-packet countries 
are able to receive a lot of products that are drop shipped. So it's going to be you, here. You're, you're going to see the list. It's going to be like the Netherlands. And can you guys hear me? Is everything yeah. good? Okay. Yep. My screen, I got a notification. Um, basically, the countries, these are countries that you can ship to with like drop shipping products, most likely from China. Um, so we're going to add those locations in here. So we're targeting those places as well. Um, so United States, um, search locations, paste that in there. Okay. If you, I, I copied these to my clipboard, guys. I just looked up ePacket list 2020. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, here, I just looked this up, copied it to my clipboard. And when I pasted it here, it came up with this. So I'm gonna go select countries. These are the ones I pasted. Match locations. Cool, and it's gonna say, um, okay, so I guess Great Britain's not gonna be in there but that's okay. Add 51 locations. Now you can edit these. You can take out some of the ones. If you don't want to do all that, you can do the major countries, which is the USA. Hold on. This, this is going to be kind of random if they're not like following along, but here, <laughs> this is like, um, let me like add this in here. So you can do the major countries. Okay. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Hold on. Um, okay. Major countries, which is USA, Canada, the UK. Wow. I cannot spell today. It's fine. You know what I mean? UK, Netherlands, Australia, and New Zealand. These are the major countries. So if you don't want to do the e-packet list and you don't want to ship out to like all those different places, that's fine. Just do the major countries. You're still going to get good engagement. Age 18 to 65 plus, leave that. Even if you are 100 million thousand percent sure that nobody who's 65 is going to buy my product. Dude, trust me, leave the location. You don't want to change, or the age, sorry, my bad. You don't want to change this because Facebook is going to place the people the best way possible. So you wanna leave this all the way up, um, even if, again, even if you really think it's for a certain gender, or a certain age or a certain location, don't do it, just let Facebook automatically do it. They know best. So detailed targeting expansion. This is important. This is probably one of the most important things on this entire call that I'm going to talk about. This is going to be adding interest into your audience. So check out my potential reach right now. This is crazy. Whoopsies. It's like a billion people. That's way too many. That's way too many. So we're going to, this is where we're going to do the interest. What I was saying about interest, like the product that we're you look at is airpods what do people who wear or want airpods also have also do also want also own like what is okay so first of all they listen to music so maybe we can do that as one of the, the things now this is pretty big this is pretty big you see it says the size is like a billion um, we're going to just narrow it down to something. So personally, I like hip hop music and it's always good to cater your clientele towards something that you also like. So I'm going to do that. This one, I'm going to click hip hop music. And now I'm going to narrow the audience and I'm going to put in a specific hip hop artist. So Let's do Rich the Kid because I'm thinking about money and that's on my mind. I'm trying to be rich, so. Okay, that's not, I guess that's not a thing. 
but so if, if i guess if he had an interest like a facebook page like it would pop up so we'll do something else we'll do like um oh, this this part is like hard for me to think of it on the spot i would need to do some brainstorming so brainstorm this stuff before you do the interests because you want to make sure you're doing good ones and whatever so we'll do um i like going to music festivals so let's put a music festival in here We'll do Coachella. I've never been to Coachella. I know it's basic, but you know. Yay, okay, this is a much better audience size now. It's at, uh, so what, 75 million? Okay, so it's still really big. Narrow further, you wanna continue doing this or do different interests. Like this is a very broad one, but you wanna do different interests until your potential reach is less than 100 million. And then you want to exclude some things. You want to exclude drop shipping. Oopsies. And you want to exclude AliExpress if you are using AliExpress. Um, if you're not sure what AliExpress is, it is a Chinese drop or Chinese wholesale supply website. It's a drop shipping website as well, but. It's a lot of wholesale suppliers on there. You can also exclude Shopify if you want to. But the reason why we're excluding these things is so people who use Facebook, who do these things, people who drop ship, people who use AliExpress, they won't see your ad. You can also get rid of certain places, I'm pretty sure. So if I didn't want anybody in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to see my ad, I could literally like block it out of here if that makes sense like or that that's that's for interests for location you can also exclude so if you want to block out a certain place like for locations um you can do that um and then okay so here we have our interest whatever excluded ones okay now we continue through here scroll down automatic placements this is what i'm talking about most people think that they know what to do and think that they know that their audience is going to be on instagram instead of facebook so let me go like go on here and get rid of all these and just have my ad on instagram no you don't want to do that you want to do automatic placements even if your ad may be the best on instagram facebook is going to put it on instagram you don't have to put it on instagram so that's a huge thing. Most people try to run ads for Instagram and they do it on Instagram. You want to do it on this, like this whole Facebook ads manager thing. Like the automatic placements is really going to do the, it's going to do the best thing for your ad. Like I don't even know where my ad was being placed, but it was being placed on like Instagram and stuff like, or no, sorry, on, um, um, messenger and stuff like that like I didn't know where my ad was being placed until I went back and checked the stats and stuff but a lot of it was through messenger and as you can see here if I went in manual placements and I had like this checked it or whatever unchecked it then my ad wouldn't have been like so successful you know so make sure you keep it as a um, automatic placement just Facebook knows Facebook is a robot okay it's it's artificial intelligence Let's be real here. So this ad set is now complete. We're gonna move on to the actual ad itself. The cost for control, by the way, um, Facebook will spend the entire budget. So up here in the campaign, when we did the campaign budget optimization and I went all crazy about this, um, it's gonna be, this $50 is gonna be evenly spent throughout these ads. So right now we're only doing one ad, but we're gonna, duplicate this and I'll show you some more stuff. So um, I hope this is helpful so far and is making sense. I'm trying to just make it as simple as I possibly can for you guys. So this is gonna be the ad that's inside the ad set. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want, a, me personally, I did a video ad inside one and a picture ad inside one. So this is gonna be the picture ad. And so, Create an ad, single image or video. You wanna make sure it's a square. Um, when you upload your media, ad media, 
um, don't have your picture be like vertical or horizontal or like when you take a picture on an iPhone, it's not a square. It's like a little bit taller than it is wide. And you want to make sure that it's a square. So it just looks better when you scroll through it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. I just saw something about marketing that had mentioned it. So I thought I would share the information. Um, and that's what I did. But, you know, it probably doesn't matter that much. But the primary text. I'm going to turn this preview on so you guys can see. Um, the primary text is what you're going to tell your audience. So this is where you're going to want to like sell your ad. Um, and this is just something that like I would write. So say we're selling AirPods. Um, I love these. I love these um, like devices. Okay. And then I'm going to go to like the emoji <laughs> emojipedia yeah <laughs> okay and like we're gonna put some emojis so let's do some heart eyes and then like i would already have my ad completed y'all so like i would put the picture like right the picture would be like right in here um okay wait i think i this isn't showing up on the preview. Hold on. Um, okay, but any, oh, this is why. So we're just gonna say that you would put your dropshipping website right here, but I'm just gonna put apple.com because like, I, I just had to put something here and Trev said AirPods. So, um, yeah, as you can see, my ad is here, but I'm gonna go here add some more text so i'm going to do a check um the meeting's going to end in 10 minutes let me get through this really quick you guys will be able to get through it all i'm almost done so here's a check right here and we're going to say fast and free shipping i got to do go over some marketing stuff on calls and stuff because i cannot stress important how it is to have free shipping on your website and how to make free shipping a thing even if your shipping isn't actually free. Anyways, um, fast and free shipping, durable. And then we'll say, um, money back guarantee. And that's only if your website states that like don't false advertise do not false advertise um so this is like what you would do you can write a headline if you want um it's what was it gonna show up yeah right here this like bold text so um you could write something like oops check it out and then or check these out or something Check them out. Okay. Okay. Sometimes, like, this is making me cringe, but I'm going to do it. Like, how it says this. It's like a marketing thing. Like, I don't know, man. Like, some people would just relate to that more. You feel me? Um, so then here we're going to do this display link. Oh, you don't have to do the display link. My bad. But what you want to do is this call to action. You want to change this from learn more to shop now so this button right here that says learn more we're gonna make it say shop now if i can find it um here it is perfect cool and that's that for the ad now what we're gonna do is see this we're gonna duplicate it so this is the picture ad i'm gonna duplicate this one so the, these three buttons right here i'm gonna click on duplicate Number of copies, one, duplicate, bet. And now I'm gonna go to the picture ad copy. I'm gonna fix it. So I'm gonna leave everything the same. The only thing I'm gonna do is change it from a picture to a video. So I'm gonna leave everything the same. I'm just gonna change it from a picture to a video. So here I would add my media and I would add the video. And now this is done. You see this? This is the ad set. Video ad is inside, picture ad is inside. 
now we're going to take the whole ad set and we're going to duplicate the whole thing two times. No, we're going to duplicate it three times. So there's a total of four. Is this all making sense, family? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so then we're going to go to copy one. And this is where we're going to change the interest. So this first one's already done. Change this to interest two. And the only thing, we don't have to change the ads at all. The only thing we're going to change is the interest. So scroll down to where we have our interest. And we did hip hop music for this one. And we're going to edit it. So, um, hold on. We're going to edit this. So something for AirPods, something else would be um, maybe Beats. Oh no, we're gonna say headphones. And then narrow audience beats by Dre. Oh, that's employers. Um, yeah, make sure you guys are checking this on the right where it says gray, because this one says like employers and we don't care about that. We want interest. We don't care about behaviors. We want interest. Cool. So this is still a pretty big audience, 230 million. Um, I can narrow it even further. Um, let's say music ensemble. What's that? I don't know. Okay, but anyways, this music in this music audience is absolutely huge. So I don't know how I feel about this, but it's okay. But basically, that's all you're gonna do for the interest. You're just gonna do exactly that. Just change the interest, and like this one's done. So now we're gonna go here, and this is gonna be interest number three, and you're gonna do something else. What else is related to AirPods? Like if you think of AirPods, like electronics perfect so we're gonna go delete these and electronics and then we can narrow this further here, let's just do AirPods. If people like AirPods, obviously they might want to buy some AirPods. Okay. Apple products. Next. What are you looking for? Your AirPods? You have to all the other Apple products. So that's probably the thing I would do. Are you muted? No. Mute yourself, please. All right, and then after you're done with that, sorry, you guys hopped on the call right when I'm about to end it, but I have it recorded. So once you save those interests, then you're going to change these ones, and that's literally all you guys do. So like I said, though, with the interests, like really brainstorm those. Like that is the most important part of the entire ads is the interest. If you don't have a good target interest like that, then it's really not going to work out for you. Um, so I'm just going to do these three, whatever, cause I don't have much time left, but let me go over really quick what I did for you guys. If, um, you guys just joined or still on here. So once you're done changing all your interests, um, I don't know if this is going to let me publish it cause I don't have my card hooked up. I don't think, no, nope. hold on. It's fine. Let me go through. So I created a new campaign with the ads manager right here. I created a new campaign with conversions and um, yeah, continue. This is on the ads manager account for Facebook. This is your campaign where you're gonna put in campaign budget optimization and you are going to put in over $50. It has to be more than $50. Here, look at this. This is the little sheet thing. Um, that I just went over the beginning of the call. So screenshot this really quick. 
and like I'll share this um, screen recording video after the call is done but the ad set is where you're gonna have your interests and stuff like that location and then the ad inside of the ad set is what people are gonna see on Facebook and I talked about placements and everything like that it's not always just to Facebook they place the ad on Instagram and whatever okay the meeting's gonna end thank you guys so much for your time I appreciate it if you have questions hit me up um, and I hope everything made sense I appreciate you guys tuning in and getting this knowledge there's so much more to this. I wish I could talk about it forever. Like I could talk about this for so many 